Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube, and in this video, I'm gonna talk all about two tips. Stay tuned. Herbie has been on a journey with their two tips. We started out with the standard two tip, then they introduced it to the report two tip, and now we got the visual header two tips. Just a great collection, a great set of two tips. And in this video, I wanna talk about what is a two tip? Why do you use a two tip? and how do you set them up and how do you configure them, all right? So a two-tip, basically it provides additional information besides the information that's displayed on the particular visual, right? And people typically use them because they're trying to provide more context, provide more information without cluttering up the visual, all right? So just quick overview of, of why and what, what and why, all right? And so how do you configure them? Well, you guys know I like to do, instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. Whenever you build a report and start adding visuals onto the page, by default, two tips are there. And so you can see on this uh, chart that I have, it's displaying the month because that's what's on this axis and it's displaying the actual total sales amount, which is the value. If I go over to this map, it's the exact same thing. You could turn them off if you want. If I click this and then I go to the formatter and look for two tip in the list, I could toggle this off and then there's no more two tip, just like that, right? I'm gonna toggle this back on. If you click here and your report consumer may look at this and go, hey, this is great, but I'd like some additional information. You can easily add that additional information to it. So maybe they wanna compare this year to last year. And so I actually have a measure for same period last year, and I could drag it to the values section here. And now I could see both of them displayed on the chart. And the report consumer may go, that's kind of busy. I would prefer not to have it there. Why can't you just show it when I hover? I'm gonna say, oh yeah, sure. So you can drag it directly to the two tip. And then they'll say, well, give me some more information. Maybe I want the quantity also and I want the freight, right? So now when I hover, you see all of those values displayed, you know, when you hover, and this is great. The one thing I'll caution you against is that whenever you do this, whenever you start adding additional values to that tooltip dwell, they are added to the DAX query that is uh, constructed and sent back to the model. So this could negatively affect performance depending on you know how performant those measures are, those values are that you add to that two-tip dwell. Let me show you how you can see what's being added. If you click on this, what we're gonna do is go to view, we're gonna turn on performance analyzer, we're gonna click start, and then I'm just gonna refresh this particular element. So I'll do that. And then I'm gonna copy this query and then I'm gonna go over to DAX Studio. Let me get connected to the right model. And then I'm gonna paste this in. And what you see is whenever you add these two tips, not only does the query um, include the measures and the columns that it needs to visualize the element, but it also includes the measures that it needs to display in the two tip. If those measures are slow, it could slow down the rendering of that particular element. So you need to be really careful. So whenever that element is rendered, it will also go back and include those measures in that expression that needs to be evaluated. And it's, it does this every time, even if a report consumer doesn't hover over the bar, right? And so when it, when, it, when it renders that element, it gets every measure it needs and returns all that data. Even if no one ever hovers, it's gonna do it, all right? And you have to incur the cost of that execution upfront, all right? And so this kind of leads me to the next two tips. So you just need to be cautious of, cautious of that. And if it starts to affect performance, you know, then you start thinking about the next one. And the next one is the report two tip because with the report two tip, it delays the execution. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go back to my Power BI report and we'll close this out. And we're gonna go to another report that I designed. And so another page in the report. And so you can see here, if I hover, I have my two tips and it's a lot. And maybe this is slowing the execution of my query down because it's included when it runs it. What I can do is I can click on this guy right here and you can see these two values are added as two tip values. I'm gonna get rid of them. And then what I would do is I would go over to another page and I would begin to construct, build out my two tip page. And to do that, you would click on the page itself, you go to format, and then you go to page information, you toggle two tip on, and then you change the page size to something that fits. And there's a, a pre-built two tip size there for you. You can use a custom size also. Once you do that, 
you head back to the report where you want to use the tool tip, select the element, go to format, and then you can, you'll see a section for tool tips. Switch the type. If it's set to default, switch it to report page and then choose the page that you want to display as your report tool tip. So I'm going to choose right top daily sales. And then you'll see right here, if I hover, my tool tip is displayed. If you go back to, if I go to view and turn on performance analyzer and click start recording, and refresh that element. Watch this. I'm going to copy this query. All right, it's copied on my clipboard. I'm going to head back over to DAX Studio and paste it in. And notice it's only the total sales amount. The difference between the standard tool tip and the report tool tip is that when you use a standard tool tip, it's going to execute, it's going to add all those measures to the query that needs to be evaluated, regardless if someone hovers. If you use a report tool tip, those queries are only executed when someone hovers. So you can help improve performance, all right? Okay, so there's a little caveat with the report tool tip that I want to point out, all right? So if we go back over to my, my report here, I have another page that I created. So let's close this. I have another page that I created here. And what you'll see is that I have a line chart here. And you can see I have several tool tip values and it kind of breaks it down for each country. If I go and enable a report tool tip for this particular element, so I'm gonna get rid of these and I'm gonna display a report tool tip. So we'll go to tool tip and report is prop, switch it to report page and change it to, let's just change to daily sales. And now if I hover over a particular element, you'll see that the report tool tip shows up. But what you should notice is that the field that's in the legend section and its country is not passed through to that report port two tip. It's just the complete summation of what I'm displaying in that report. And it's passing all the other filters, but not the filter for from the legend. It just it doesn't work that way. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't pass it to the two tip. You need to adjust the two to two tip to display it broken down by whatever's in in the legend in my case country so i would mo maybe modify the report to have a, a chart that shows the breakdown for my previous year sales by country or something like that all right so first two tips standard two tip second two tip report two tip now my my favorite two tip it is the uh visual header two tip and so I was when I was coming up with the demos for this, I actually did some quick Internet searches because to try to figure out what I was going to demo. And I landed on a blog by Prathy and I, the link will be in the comments below. And she came up with some really unique scenarios. And so I started building some things out based on scenarios. So shout out to Prathy. Thanks for such a great blog post. And so the visual header two tips, they allow you to add context or provide more information to a particular element on the report or even possibly the entire report. And so I want to show you how I set this up and show you some examples all right so let's head back to my laptop so I have a report here and what you'll see is I have a map and I have a, a top 10 table and so I want to add a little more context so it could tell me who's you know who had the top who was the top customer you know what percentage of the total sales of the top customers they had so I designed the two tip page and to configure this visual header two tip you click on that element go to format and you expand visual header and then all the way, the very last option on that visual header is a toggle for visual header tool tip. Go ahead and toggle it. And then you'll get a new little section right there. Go ahead and expand that and then change your report page from none to the tool tip page that you want to display. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my top tool tip top 10. And now I have a little question mark that appears and I hover over this. You can see it's saying, hey, these are the top. This is a top 10 customer details for 2020. And it's telling me who my top customer was, how much they purchased and on and on and so forth. If I change the year to 2015, right, and I go ahead and click hover over my little question mark, the context changes. This would this just didn't work like a report tool tip on within, you know, if I was hovering over a bar or a piece of the pie or something like that. I actually had to configure this so that I can pass my slicer value, my year slicer to that page two tip. Let me show you how I did it. To do this, I clicked on the slicer, clicked on sync slicers. And what I did was I made sure that for the two pages for my, my primary report and the two tip page, I made sure that the uh, sync was selected and I'm only displaying the slicer on the actual report page, not the two tip page. So I uncheck that once I did that, then anytime I change year 
and hover it over, it will pass the year to that report to tip. Just like that, it works. A couple extra steps, but if you wanna pass the context of those filters from your main page to that tooltip page, you need to walk through those steps. And so that's one way you can add some context. Another, another neat way is I have the map on this report, and let me show you what I did to the map. So if you look at the map, I have green and red, you know, and I wanna show what those colors mean. I don't have a legend here, so I need to build something out. And basically I built a tooltip page just for that. So then you go to, click on that element, Adam, click on that element, go to the formatter, make sure you turn on your visual header tooltip option and visual header, and then select your map legend. And then hover over the question mark and now you'll see, right, it's telling me low is red, high is green. So with these visual header two tips, not only can I add context to a specific visual, but I can also provide more information. What? These two tips are great. They're phenomenal. It adds a lot. It, makes, it just makes my report sing a little bit. All right, what do you guys think? Do you have any questions, comments? Are you using report two tips and standard two tips and visual header two tips? Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel, that subscribe button you like my video give me a big thumbs up as always from adam and myself thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video